you need a cassette tape player any cassette tape player will do and you also need uh, 3.5 millimeter male to male cable um, you can buy this for about a dollar online you want to take the 35 millimeter uh, male to male cable connect one to the speaker out, the audio out where you put your headset on you want to connect one over there and you want to connect the other one over to your mic mic in, microphone input it's usually red color put the cassette tape in so now you want to click on start go to all programs accessories and you want to click on sound recorder after you click on sound recorder now it's a good time to press the play button at the tape recorder after that you want to see a green flashing bar on the side uh, when there's volume um, as we don't see any right now so we need to fix that go to the bottom right corner right click on the speaker and click on recording you can see that there's this microphone right there double click on that and now you can see you can set the levels um, you can adjust your microphone uh, by increasing the numbers on the slide bar and the more you increase you can see the green bar increasing that's the volume um, however it also creates more distortion too so you actually want to adjust that uh, the volume right there and also go to your tape recorder and adjust the volume at the tape recorder too you want to balance out both volumes to the best uh, sound quality after everything is good click on start recording um, we're going to record a short video I mean a short audio clip right here and after you finish stop and then save it under uh, music I'm going to call it demo one I'm just going to write over a previous recording and don't forget to stop your cassette tape so after we done recording that one file, we want to listen to it. Click on start, go to documents, and then click on music. You will see audio demo one, double click on that, and now you can listen to it. If it doesn't sound right, if it sounds like a lot of distortion, then repeat those steps again to make it right. So let's say you recorded a couple of audio files right by now, and you want to burn it to CD. You want to click on start go to all programs and then click on Windows Media Player. If this is the first time you uh, start Windows Media Player it might say um, uh, it might have this window pop up and you want to click on recommend settings. After that then you want to click on albums and all of the audio file that you recorded should all show up in, uh, in uh, albums you now want to drag and drop these audio files from the left to the right so you see at the bottom I have three audio files I want to drag each one of them from the left to the right before I do that I need to click on burn and then I drag one file two file three files demo one two and three now I can uh, burn it into this click on there and make sure that uh, audio CD is selected now I can click on burn disk when I click on that it will require for me to put in a CD disk pop it open put a blank CD in here close it it will recognize that it's a CD and it was uh, you can just click yes right here it just tells you that uh, certain features aren't enabled in here so after that it will start recording um, onto the CD disk you can see right there it says 0% uh, complete and you want it to go from 0 to 100% uh, uh, this will take maybe like 5 minutes and after you get up to like 
five to ten minutes later for me it was five minutes uh, it says 99 almost completed and then it'll get to 100 after it gets after it's 100 percent complete your CD disk is now a audio CD and you can play it on any CD player you like 